Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be installing a Whipple supercharger on this Ford Raptor. Let's get into today's video. All right, guys, you guys all know what a Raptor is. It is a Ford truck that was built for off-road right off of the factory. This one right here already has some aftermarket goodies. And what better way to make this thing a little bit faster than installing a Whipple supercharger. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this kit right now and kind of see all the components and judge our installation based off that. So let's go ahead and get this hood popped. Two hey, inches hey, hey, fuck when it. I'm soft, but hey, watch yeah, this shit. thing grows, man. Hey, you know what's funny? It's probably soft more, more than the <laughs> <laughs> Sam, when's the last time you hey, were? Hey, oh, Anyways, hey, dude, why are you always up, talking about up. penises? Hey, You're hey, always hey. talking about penises because and Because you boxes. told me yours didn't work oh, one time. You pulled a fuck. Hey, they like time. pulling your ponytail. That's what they like. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? This thing has 6.2 liter. So this thing's already plenty of fast. And I think this Whipple is going to wake this thing up a lot more. Fuck. This it thing, it, it, it should run it real good right after this, right, Sam? Fuck, got me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at this Whipple kit. Stop, read first. This oh, is filters. the filter. Looks like a oil catch can. Sheesh. I think this has more liters than my Honda, my Honda CRX. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy. Take it off. Does this guy, he, he doesn't work out, huh? Who? Can you show him how to lift it? Yeah. Show him how to lift it, Sam. Just grab it and lift it, dude. Yeah. Grab it and lift it. Well, it's about a cut here, huh, Sam? Hey, fat cut here. <laughs> it's like a hose the, bag. All the hoses, right? It sounds like an old girlfriend. Like your hose bag? A hose bag. <laughs> Dual fan, parts box, program, There's vehicle. A programmer. Yep. Mustang Shelby GT 500. Something. Doesn't say what. Dude, that's 15 horsepower, huh? That's what? It's five, ho five horsepower every sticker. You have to have a motherfucker. Throttle oh, body. Oh, that's for the whip up. Nice. This is probably what they have on the freaking GT500. Yeah, that's what they, they come with that supercharger already. One, you have to use the same throttle body because that's what will bolt up to the, the whip. Or shift? That's a cooler or a radiator? Yeah, the cooler. Spark plugs. Wow. Stickers. More horsepower. Oh, oh the instructions, real Sam. How about, oh. You don't know what that is. Man, you bought the thing in America? <laughs> I don't believe it. You fucking guys, man, you stepped up. <laughs> Step no weird. eBay parts? They, you know? <laughs> no, Damn, look at, look at this. They even know what, what they packed, the packing slip. Everything that's, that's in, in there, Sam. Look at that. You're going to be able to do wheelies like that. That's it right there. We'll yeah, go up here and then uh, <laughs> go up there and do a little bit of wheelies, make sure it yeah, doesn't look. Yeah, look at your favorite with a lot of pictures. I know you only have to read the picture book, Sam. <laughs> Hey, the picture's working back in the day, you know what I mean? Picture's oh, worth a thousand words. You know what Sam like? Back in the day, in the, all the Playboys, they had a big old magic carpet. That's what Sam's into, huh? The oh, yeah. big old bush, huh? Well, hey, you never, you ever do it by the best job? They asked me one day. <laughs> Jose and Kevin asked me, what's the best job you ever had? And they go, man, I was 11, 11 years old. Her name was Lonnie. Best blow job I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> what? So yeah, we got everything here. What's cool, everything's kind of broken down. Tells us what we need to remove, what we need to install. Pretty thorough, so, you know, it's gonna be hopefully a pretty clean install after we're done with this, but we should be able to do this because that's what they're saying, so. Did that's what we're going for. In the dirt or on the street? On the street, baby. The motherfucker that had two cars, it was on fucking the Motor Trend Channel. One's a new Mustang and one's a new fucking uh, Challenger. Popped up, just come out, come out of factory that way, right? These fucking two assholes. They don't drag race, they never drag race. They put them in these cars. First off, right, the guy stands it up, boom, in the, in the, in the Challenger. <laughs> Rides it out for about fucking 50 feet. Sets it down. You want drugs or alcohol? No, sir. You take drugs or alcohol? What is drugs? The Mustang wins the first round. Because well, he wins three races, it. right? <laughs> the second round, right? He gets out there, that Challenger smokes that motherfucking Mustang. The second round. Third round, right? This motherfucking fat dude, right? Driving the Challenger. Stomps on it, and that motherfucker's dragging the bumper. 
They didn't let out of it. Saul here from SOS Customs. Today we're gonna be working on this SVT Raptor, swapping it out, putting a little more power to it. Jake, uh, the owner of the car, has a lot of cars. He's a little adrenaline junkie, kind of like myself. He has a Mustang that's twin turbo. He has a GTR. He at one point had an LS RX-7. So he needs that need for speed and that's what we're gonna do here so this is what stock motor is pretty much bone stock motor it's not gonna look like that anymore we're gonna be removing uh, the intake manifold removing some parts in here for the intercooler installing the wiring reflashing pretty much this is the new intake manifold that's gonna be going on here which the supercharger is already built on that intake manifold uh, Whipple supercharger you know have all the parts here after cooler, all the parts that go along with it. From Ford Performance, we have to use the throttle body and that's what's gonna be going on. So we're gonna go ahead and start removing the parts that we need to and then we'll check back in and uh, see the progress of it. Next day. Good morning guys, next day on the Raptor supercharged build. We went ahead and already got a lot of things out, I'll show you. Intake manifolds out, all the coil packs, alternator accessory, you know, that's where that big puppy is gonna sit right there. That's where that Whipple supercharger is gonna be sitting. The one thing that uh, turbo versus supercharger, the cool thing obviously being that the, the supercharger is right here and the intake manifolds here, it's almost instant forced induction meaning obviously when this pulley is spinning here in here there's two gears that are spinning fast that are forcing the air into the intake manifold and obviously you're limited in boost meaning obviously whatever pulley you set you know you'll be seven eight pounds or, or a 10 to 12 pound pulley you're limited by the boost right and obviously being that it's using your own engine to to build the power because it has to spin this pulley it's a little drag but it overcompensates obviously you're making a lot more power for the amount of drag that it's doing so there's pros and cons for turbocharger or supercharger so obviously turbo you can run a lot more boost you use the same you use your exhaust to spin the turbine but obviously there's a lot more piping you have to do a lot of piping the intercooler it's just overall a bigger a bigger you know build to put a turbo in a car right with the supercharger and with Whipple, obviously they make it pretty simple. It just bolts right, replaces your intake manifold, bolts onto the intake manifold, everything's there. A couple modifications on the top end, but you don't have to mess with the exhaust, you know, no piping, not a lot of other things that you run into, clearances, making sure everything fits, nothing gets hot, blah, blah, blah. So if you want, you know, good power, bang for the buck, obviously supercharger is the way to go. Turbo, obviously you want to make more power. You can make it, but obviously there's a lot more stuff involved in that. So with that being said, Sam has uh, already took a lot of things off right now. I'm gonna finish taking some stuff that uh, underneath, as you can see. Sam, how you doing this morning? Go away or go home. That means leave him alone and will do. Okay, so 16 spark plugs later, huh, Sam? Let's go, 14. 14? You're just gonna leave the other two in there? <laughs> Definitely has 16 spark plugs. Two for each cylinder. Top of the cylinder head looks good. A lot better than what it looked like when it came in. So, I guess you gotta swap out all the spark plugs. I guess they have a, a colder step spark plug for the Whipple setup, so those need to get changed out. It's a heck of a lot of labor to get this thing done. Uh, but I think Sam will be finished with it today, I think. Fuck you, fucking Monday. <laughs> yeah, but he's wrapping this thing up, it looks like. Coming out real good. We gotta put this huge Whipple. This thing is huge, man. It's like the size of a freaking single cam uh, Honda motor, pretty crazy. All right, since the last time you guys saw, we went ahead and installed the brackets that it comes with for the front mount intercooler. It goes right in front here, everything bolts to original location, everything's mounting really good. The one that uh, Sam had a lot of fun doing was all these 
spark plugs so this is the original spark plugs that it came with but now with the new ones they're iridium and they're a colder step because obviously you're going to be forced induction but this car doesn't take your regular it's a v8 we would think eight spark plugs no it's double that so 16 spark plugs we had to take out and regap them to 28 so so obviously with the force induction you have the right amount of spark to ignite and you know make it run good so he's gonna finish up bolting this up he's doing the fans right now and he's having a great time doing it yep Fuck you that's the attitude you know when sam says that to you that he that's i love you that's yeah. his word so, go out to your wife so he's saying <laughs> I, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. It's hitting? Yeah. All right, so here's a little bit of an update. Uh, we've been page 45 of 71. I think we're halfway or I think we're more than halfway done. We're in the, the home stretch. We're just figuring out little little wiring issues that we need to connect and certain ways that they want it. So you have those specific clearances. So we're close. We have the supercharger already and ready to go on and then coil packs and everything that we have over there but sam says that he can't wait to finish this thing to go do some burnouts and do a couple wheelies and, Shit. and he looks forward to in a couple hours hey, i'm not even running this i'm thing. not even turning the key on <laughs> <laughs> so hey, hey, um, you can make it go boom there you go that's that's what we want we want to make it go boom hopefully not get this thing running Right, Sam? Yeah, maybe next Friday. Come on. It's Friday today. You mean yeah, this Friday, Yeah, right? bullshit. It ain't. <laughs> it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh, then it should run today. It be a devil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, run backwards. <laughs> Roadkill, Tijuana. All right, guys, we're on page 60 of uh, uh, 71, so we're down the home stretch here. We went ahead and already pre-cut. Uh, as you saw, Sam cut the coolant reservoir bracket off we're gonna go ahead and grind it smooth how they they have said here to get it all smoothed out so we can proceed to the next step which is bolting the air box to it that's already been modified so that we can put the intake system um, on here we already went ahead and obviously uh, superchargers on intake uh intake manifold all that stuff's on throttle bodies on now the wiring uh right now we're gonna proceed to fill fill up the cooler went ahead and got concentrate dex cool antifreeze and some distilled water as they asked for so that it's everything's properly filled with the correct fluids as the instructions are indicated to do so so happy monday to you guys we are almost down to the final stretch can't wait to share this with you once it's done and go for a drive so i'm excited as much as you guys are so finish this up i'm gonna go get some more water that sam needs and get this raptor roaring we're in the jungle here in oceanside we got everything properly laid out electric fence to protect so nothing could get out of here because we got this wild wild dinosaur here and we're gonna let it loose with this supercharger Woo! all right guys a little update on the raptor we got everything installed now show you guys got the intake installed supercharger throttle body everything's pretty much done the next step is to run the scanner software the sct which is going to be like almost like a preloaded map we're going to scan it go through the obd2 so that's the next step we need to do so we're going to go up to the computer load that in and then we'll come back on the truck all right so this is the scanner that we received with the whipple supercharger some instructions it has the obd2 connector that connects to the scanner and the one we need is this one which is going to go there and we're going to go ahead and download the software so that we can uh, put in the new map from Whipple so we can go ahead and uh, start the car. So I'll get this connected, download the software and uh, get it all put in. So we're getting everything updated on the scanner here. Download the software, scanner's connected. So I'm doing the updates right now and Whipple already sent me a calibrated map. So then from there, I'll load that into the programmer which is this deal. And then from there, we can go upload it on the vehicle. All right, so went ahead and updated the device, added the new uh, map, calibration map onto this. Now we can head to the car and get it uh, tuned. All right, so I'm in the vehicle. I went ahead and already connected to the 
OBD2 port, got this program, add the program, which is a new map. I went ahead and continue. So let's see, we're gonna go to the program, go to Keon, I'm gonna add this map on here. Go through the whole thing, confirm, continue. And the car, reflashing, it's unlocking the processor. So hopefully after this is loaded, we can fire up the truck and uh, see how she sounds and she'll be going. So it's gonna take a while. It's in the process of doing this. So we'll wait, get this to 100% and then we can continue next. In a weird position, loading up the map for the Whipple and what are we at, So Is thing gonna be ripping, ripping and tearing today? Ripping and tearing, that's the plan. We're just going over, checking all the connections for the coil pack, make sure everything's good. And then, um, then we can initiate the tune and then uh, fire it up. So we'll be ripping and tearing. Meanwhile, That truck is fast. I mean, this is a light car, but his, it's a big truck and dude, that thing rips. <laughs> that shit rips, dude. Yeah. That was a nice little run. Get to take out the Datsun, play around in Tijuana, Mexico. We took the cars in Tijuana. We're in Tijuana right now. Just want to shout you guys out. Thank you guys for watching. We've got more in store for different cars, superchargers, performance, everything. So hope you guys are watching. Thank you guys again here at SOS Customs. We got you.